Welcome back, Chargers. We hope you had a great weekend. I'm Sophia. And I'm Melissa. Today is October 10th, 2016. It's the 284th day of the year, only 82 days away from 2017. It's Thanksgiving in Canada. It's rock vocalist David Lee Roth's 62nd birthday. It's DP News. And it starts now. Seniors, the results of homecoming court nominations are in. This year's homecoming princesses are Lauren Bowie, Jacqueline Holmes, Gabby Mejia, Kiara Ortega, Kara Portier, Regina Santos Moreno, Isabella Sasola, Rocky Yusaka, Gwyneth Vale, Sienna Wagner, Fayan Wutan Rea, and Joanna Zukin. And this year's homecoming princes are Sam Drew, William Fader, Josh Feldhaus, Max Geiling, Marcellus Gossett, Miles Ibarra, Thomas Jimenez, Santi Melendez, Anthony Meza, Chris Noggle, Kellen Roberts, and DP News' very own Kiernan Ringer. For all of the princes and princesses, there is a mandatory homecoming court meeting today at lunch in T3. Do you like to cook and eat good food? Would you like to learn new recipes and techniques while working with children? If so, you should consider volunteering for Apples to Zucchini Cooking School. They teach children and their families to prepare delicious, nutritious, and affordable meals made from real food. Most of their classes are in the afternoon, and they ask that you commit to one after a week for eight weeks. Visit their site to find out more. The DP Marching Band and Dance Guard had their first competition this weekend at Royal High School in Simi Valley. Their show, entitled Behind the Walls, is about a dollhouse that comes to life. They brought home three first place trophies for the overall score in their division, Percussion and Dance Guard. Congratulations to the Marching Chargers! Gonzaga University was here this morning in the library. Tomorrow, Northeastern University will be here from 9.30 to 10 in the library. Get a pass from the Career Center today and have your teacher sign it so you can visit them when they're here. Tomorrow from 9 to 12.22 in the Career Center, you can meet with the program advisor to get help filling out the SFSB General Scholarship Application, SFSB Honors Slash Art Application, Application FAFSA application or the CA Dream Act application. The sign-up sheet is located in the counseling office with Ms. Polito. Walk-ins are welcome, but priority goes to students who have appointments. The state honorees of the Prudential Spirit Award will receive $1,000 medallions and all expense paid trips to Washington, D.C. for the 22nd annual national recognition event. Applications must be submitted to the school or the head of an official designated organization by November 8th. To find the rules and application, visit their website. Do you have any videos that you'd like to be featured on DP News? You can submit your videos to dpnews at dpnews.org to have them play while we run our credits. I know I have a few videos I'd love to submit. Cal Soap is hosting a personal statement workshop on October 20th in the Franklin Elementary School Library from 6 to 7 p.m. A local expert will be providing students with informational tips on the common application essay, the new UC personal insight questions, and personal statements. Although this is geared towards juniors and seniors, freshmen and sophomores are encouraged to attend as it is never too early to start thinking about college. For more information, contact Shai Cordinero, phone or email. <laughs> the next beat of... The next Beautify DP is this Saturday, October 15th from 9 a.m. to noon. Students should wear clothes appropriate for gardening and clean up projects and bring a refillable water bottle. Snacks are provided by the PTSA and we meet in front of the library. You can sign up on the clipboard outside Mrs. Stone's office. National Honor Society members who need their two-hour community service requirement can use this October Beautify DP to count for their last spring semester hours or for this year's fall semester hours. All students are welcome to come to attend and also earn graduation community service hours. Let's beautify our campus for our 50th anniversary, Chargers. Well, that's all the campus news we have for you today, DP. Now over to Caleb with the sports. Good morning, Dos Pueblos. Over the weekend, boys water polo got two non-league wins. On Friday, the boys beat Royal 12-6. Senior Taylor Gustafson had two goals and two assists, and sophomore Angus Goodner made three saves and goal. On Saturday, they, they took on Servite and won 10-8. Juniors Matt Binkley and Jason Tang had one goal apiece. Dos Pueblos cross-country competed in the 
38th annual Clovis Invitational. Our girls finished 14th, senior Christina Rice finished 5th in the Division II race with a time at 18.31. This was a monster performance as she beat her previous best time by 47 seconds. Adding to the girls' success, senior Natalie Hawkins and junior Kaylee Reardon each ran a smart race and finished together in the, at 20.15. The boys' team was led by junior Josh McGregor who finished 5th overall in the Division II race with a time of 16.31. Freshman standout Joseph of Perlman finished second for DP on the day with the time of 17.32. Senior Captain Lauren Young was the third charger across the line with a time of 17.45. DP Sailing competed in their first regatta of the year in Monterey, California. Juniors Ryan Eastwood and Sarah Muir sailed in Division A, placing them third overall with a total of 26 points. In Division B, sophomore Chris Kaeda, senior Sophie Tonsman, and freshman Mal Malvolina Hosten had mixed results. Division B is the 18th place in their division with a total of nine points. This places us in eighth overall with 125 points, five points behind the Dons in seventh. What's up? The Sky, because I'm Sky with your weather report. And I'm Lindsay with your surf report and joke of the day. Hey Sky, did you hear about the fire in the circus? No, what happened in the circus? I don't know, but I heard it was intense. Ha! <laughs> this week's temperatures will be cooler than last week, so be ready to cool down. Tomorrow, we'll reach a high of 66 degrees and a low of 51 degrees with 84% humidity and 8 mile per hour winds. Wednesday's temperatures will reach a high of 86... <laughs> we'll reach a high of 67 degrees and a low of 51 degrees with 86% humidity and 9 mile per hour winds. While Thursday's temperatures will reach a high of 71 degrees and a low of 54 degrees with 78% humidity and 9 mile per hour winds. The surf today will be significant, significantly higher than last week, especially at Sands Beach. We'll have the highest waves at 6 tonight, so make sure to get out to those waves for some surfing and tread the gnar, my friends. That's all we have for you today, DP. Have, have an, an extraordinary, extraordinary day. day.